another episode of Madge Unmuted. I am your hostess, Madge Madigan. Welcome. And with me, as always, is my trusty producer, Fitz. I am trusty. Scott Fitzgerald. I'm like a canteen. You <laughs> are. Trusty or producer. like a... Or a... <laughs> Swiss Army Knife. Yes. That's what I was... I got a great corkscrew. Hey. Hello! Sorry you should that. check out his nail file. Uh, anyway, hey, I'm so excited. See, oh. <laughs> you excited? I am! What's going on today, Madge? You brought we... in a big box of goodies. I did! This is my first ever haul. What the hell is that? A haul is a thing that the kids are doing on YouTube. Uh, it's been around for a while now. H a u l haul, yes. like a U haul. Yes, and it's like you order stuff, and and then your stuff comes in the mail, and then you open it on camera, or sometimes Ooh. like yeah, I know, or sometimes a company will, you know, sponsor you and send you stuff and whatnot. So. I didn't order anything. <laughs> so I'm so excited to show you this. And now they usually have beautiful packaging, but um, like I think something must have happened to mine in the mail. Hey, it's funny that I said U-Haul because that is oh, a U-Haul box. How fitting. So, yeah, it's a little, um, it must have had trouble in the, um, in the shipping. And, um, oh, look, such pretty packaging. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see. Might might just got messed up in the mail. All right. I'm so excited. Ahem. Oh, let's put this. Dear Ms. Madigan. <laughs> Greetings. We have noticed your online presence as a rising star on YouTube and would like to partner with you. Partnership. <laughs> we feel that your age and income range would be a perfect match to our clientele, and we would be honored if you would partner with us as a brand ambassador. We offer the not so easy to find styles your generation loves. Uh, we will okay, okay. We will occasionally you people. <laughs> we, <laughs> we will occasionally send you new hauls to show your viewers. How exciting! Um, please accept this first shipment as our commitment to our partnership with you and a bright future for your retirement years. <laughs> Since subtle. Sincerely yours, the Salvation Army. Oh, you got a haul from the Salvation Army? That's yeah, brilliant. and they use partnership three times in a That's letter. Brilliant. So, um, Did they send you a nice Naugahyde jacket? We'll see. Previously used? We'll see. I, lightly worn. Hey, that's what let's l yes, lightly, gently used, gently, gently used, lo yes. previously loved. Whatever, we're gonna check it out. We're, we're gonna. This is gonna be good. Previously loved out. goes in a whole different direction for me. For some <laughs> reason, <laughs> that's what I call myself. <laughs> previously loved, <laughs> low mileage. <laughs> um, fresh, seized, lightly seasoned. <laughs> all over the place so um what what do you what do you say we we get started on this have you ever seen these haul things before only since you've pointed it out to me i did not oh. know they existed but i'm a 48 year old white male not that the white male has anything to do with it but yeah i just thought i'd paint, that a, makes, that, paint a complete picture for our listening audience right. and that makes you a little more clueless a lot so, more clueless yeah so um yeah well um I've I, retirement years um I'm I'm only fifty five so I'm um not quite uh you know I'm not ready to be put out to pasture but we'll see what they have cool your jets AARP <laughs> oh I already got that yeah, one that's a yeah but they started that. sending those when you're forty five I was just gonna say <laughs> bastards so what's the big idea seriously uh so let's take this in the other room shall we okay and i will pull it on out and try it on all right should you. we do a little uh traveling music oh yeah ah now to the other studio <laughs> and away do -do, do -do, we go do -do, do -do. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are with our first item. 
pretty snazzy, huh? I like this. Damn, this thing's Open heavy. Open the coat. Open the coat. Which? <laughs> this is a little heavy. I'm not gonna lie. But let me see what they have to say about this. Oh, full-length raccoon coat to wear with other snowbirds from New York City in Miami or at the community center at Boca del Vista. Well, I love it. They thought this might be nice for all my nature walks. Cardinalized. That's a bird. All right, all right, all right. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, it said this one is good for those hot nights over at the villages. <laughs> we know all about you boys over there. Highest STD rates in the country. And uh, so there's a lot of competition. <laughs> I like to play her back nine. <laughs> okay, this doesn't go with the dress, but it doesn't have any bottoms, so I thought I would just show you. This is a snazzy jacket. They apparently thought it would go great for a nice early bird dinner at the Howard Johnson's. I'll have the clam witch. <laughs> Okay, I obviously don't have the right undergarments on for this, but apparently they wanted me to remember my glory days at Studio 54 Nostalgia Night. <laughs> Nose candy not included. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little um, I gotta go get my spoon. <laughs> they thought this one would be great for the black tie benefit when my husband is announced as Kiwanis of the Year. <laughs> Joke's on you, I don't have a husband. <laughs> um, and if I, if I did, I'm sure he would be Knights of Columbus all the way, not those Kiwanis. And this one doesn't zip up in the back. I can't even get that up. Neither can your husband. Oh, all right now, here we go. We're talking now. This is apparently for all those Jacqueline Jazzercise classes I'll be going to at the community center. I know I gotta wear a different bra with this, but it's a motion capture suit. <laughs> I know. A new I wanna wear it for jazzer size, damn it. Okay now this one is very lovely, but see here, this is just about enough. They said this one is for my granddaughter's wedding. Okay. I don't even have any grandchildren yet, and um, and none of my kids are married or have children yet. So um, I don't know how, you, how old you think I am, but um, but it's lovely. Maybe it'll be for my fourth wedding. And apparently this. As for when I fall asleep in front of the TV at 7.30 watching Wheel and Jeopardy. I like the pockets though, actually. Not a lot of women's things have pockets. It's like I put my my reading glasses in here, a remote, my meds. Metamucil? Yeah, Metamucil, my PM meds. I kind of like it. It's comfy. It's like one of those big snuggies. So hey, I, what'd you think? I, this, I gotta tell you, this one is so comfy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay in it the rest of the day. I tell you what, I think you really made out like a bandit. That's a hell of a haul. I know. Salvation I, Army, pff, you ladies don't know what you're missing. I'm telling you, thrifting. Stri uh, Fitz, what do you think? What do you think was your favorite look? Boy, that's a tough one. I know that. You know. I keep going back to the uh, to the jazzercise one. <laughs> that was it's one so form fitting. I know, but I also really liked the um, the evening wear that you had. 
It yes. was it was very reminiscent of um, my graduation party with my grandmother and my aunt showed up. They were all decked out. I mean, it was it was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, that's what the Salvation Army thinks. I need to. No, I like it. Retro is cool. Damn it. So I've I've uh, frequented uh, a lot of those like thrift stores and things house? like that. No, not a house. <laughs> Yes. Houses of ill repute. Um, back they- back in the nineties, when I was uh, playing in a rock and roll band, um, it was kind of cool to go to to uh, you know the thrift stores and buy oh, yeah. buy retro stuff like oh, yeah you know like I started doing that in college in the eighties tweed I, jackets and whatnot. Back then, it was called they had a thrift store, like Goodwill or Salvation Army, and they had an Army Navy store. Oh yeah, the Army Navy surplus store. Yep. Oh, that's the best. Those were the best. I got the coolest wool trench coats from there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was you the could bomb. You could get nice um, dungaree jackets. You know, like the old dungarees. War- okay, Grandma. World War Two. That's what they called them in in World War Two. They were called dungarees. Look oh. it up. God. Damn, son. But yeah, that's all were, that World were, War Two reading you've been doing. Jack boots. Oh yeah, you know what I did? Lots of knives too. I. Oh, it scares me a little. Um, I had those, uh, they used to have a, was it like a duffel bag? It was a big, long. Oh, yeah. I think there was a special name for it. Big, long, green. Um, yeah, it was like the, the OD green army issue rucksack type of yeah, thing. Yeah, but it was a big, huge one. Yeah. And, and, and it fit over your shoulders. And I used to, I went to college in Maine and I lived um near here in rochester and i would um fly back and forth on people's express anybody remember that and i would carry that damn thing because you had to pay for luggage and i could fit like an entire summer's wardrobe you know in there was that your it was in your carry-on was it yeah you got that on a plane yeah you (laughs) swoosh really hard and but it was also that thick thing yeah i i brought that on i I somehow got it in the overhead um (laughs) i think they were bigger back then yeah oh they were they most definitely were but it was like bigger than i was because i was like 40 pounds (laughs) lighter and i'm only five two so (sighs) i had a body in there is what i did oh gross yeah, no. I so college really. in Maine. I've yep. never been to Maine. I hear Maine's amazing. It is. I haven't been there in quite a while. Um, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie. This doesn't smell great. <laughs> um, yes, it is beautiful there. Uh, Maine doesn't smell great or what no, you're wearing. Yes, my does. my <laughs> snuggy thing doesn't smell great. Maine smells lovely. Shout out to all my Maine friends. Yes. But uh, yeah, this this would be fantastic for an evening in Maine. Cold evening in the house by the pellet stove. <laughs> <laughs> by the while uh, while your while your significant other tans hides. Yes, actually, and hangs up all the beaver pelts. Yes, <laughs> can never have enough beaver. <clears throat> That's what he said. That is what oh, I said. Hey-o. As a matter of fact. <laughs> So what do we got coming up? So I I, um, I did see, I, well, I didn't tell you, but I had uh, I put out some feelers for some for some interesting guests coming up. You could get arrested for that. <laughs> Careful. Yes, and who might that be? Uh, well, let's wait for them oh. to actually oh yes. say yes before we uh, we tease. But 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 just be it known that I have reached yes. out to a lot of cool guests. And I know they will say yes because they all owe me favors. But uh, on the other side of things, no, they'll say yes because they love the show. Oh, yes, of course. I've actually had some, I have some guests in the pipeline that are really cool and really funny. And I can't wait for you to meet them. So we're going to have a lot of fun here on Magic Muted. Maybe some more hauls. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a haul from, uh, let's see, where can we do a haul from? Hmm, who wants to send me free merch? <laughs> Sears, <laughs> Sears, Lane Bryant. I would love to do a oh, haul yeah. from Sears. <laughs> Get me some new slacks. Is Kmart still around? <laughs> I really need some more slacks. No, look, I'm yes, I'm uh, some Hager reversible ones. Mm, there you go. I'm water waterproof. Mm, I don't know why I said because mm. uh, <laughs> waterproof is delicious, apparently. <laughs> Tastes like rubber. <laughs> um, 
yeah, any any place that wants to send me free stuff. I'm a high end gal. Not literally, that's a low end, <laughs> but I'm a high end fashion kind of gal. So All right. Well send. you heard it here first. Probably last. Yeah, probably. Well, look. So I should we wrap it up for today? Yes, we, we shall. I hope you enjoyed my Salvation Army Hall today. Absolutely. And uh, Fitz, as always, thank you. Uh, Rock Fox Studios. That was supposed to be like this. Oh, but Namaste. Yeah, yeah, namaste. Or something. Uh, Rock Fox Studios for all your recording needs. Rockvox.com. Rockvox.com. I can help you with a podcast. You can. And and promos and commercials and any little thing your heart desires. Madge Madigan, please subscribe. Like and share while you're here at YouTube. Um, for all the audio listeners, you're just going to have to go to YouTube uh, to check out the video to see yeah. what the hell I was wearing. Yeah, that was. it's worth it. Trust me. It is. really. It's Mad- worth the ride. <laughs> That's what they say about Madge. It's worth the ride. <laughs> Haven't failed anybody yet. <laughs> Uh, look me up on YouTube, Madge Unmuted, and all my other social media, Madge Madigan. Go to, and always get everything at Madge Madigan, MadgeMadigan.com. <gasps> yes. On that note. Goodbye, Madge. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.